Welcome to this section on Cisco SD-WAN documentation. Documentation is kind of a good place to start and really is a place we often come back to as we start to develop and build our different tools that we want to use in our environments. So you'll notice here, I'm starting off right under the vManage REST APIs, which seems like a reasonably intuitive place to do this, all right? What I want you to take a look at is you notice there's a few different categories. And these categories that they show under the main documentation actually don't match up exactly to the actual categories, but they're pretty close. We're gonna start down here on the bottom left. On the bottom of the troubleshooting, this is uh, for troubleshooting devices, determining the effects of policy, uh, for updating software or retrieving software version information. And so we'll be looking at some of the different troubleshooting tools that we have. Another section that we have is our real-time monitoring. So our real-time monitoring is you know, retrieving, viewing, and managing real-time statistics and traffic information. Real-time monitoring information is gathered in real time approximately about once per second. Device inventory is pretty straightforward. This is where we're collecting our device information, including serial numbers and system status. Monitoring. Now you notice we have a few of these that are more about monitoring. This is where we can view our, our status, statistics, and other information about operational devices in the overlay network. Monitoring information is what the devices collect information about themselves every 10 minutes. After collecting these statistics, each Viptela device places them to zip file. The vManage server retrieves the zip file every 10 minutes or so. If the vManage server cannot log into the device, it retrieves them whenever it's next able to log in. And you're probably looking at this saying, hey, why is he kind of grouping these? Well, like I said, this is the documentation. However, if we look a little closer, and we actually start looking at the API. So this is actually looking more directly at the real documentation on a device. You're gonna notice that the categories I'm mentioning, we see a bunch here for our configuration. All right, so the configuration categories, these creating a feature and device configuration templates, retrieving the configurations and existing templates, and creating and configuring vManage clusters. So you'll notice we have a whole configuration section. And as we go down, you're gonna see these are gonna start mirroring what I was talking about, the monitoring section. We're able to monitor. Remember the monitoring is the part where we get that information about every 10 minutes. So, you know, when some people are like are expecting to see some changes right away, but this information takes about 10 minutes for it to get updated. Under certificate management, this we're able to manage our certificates and our keys. This is used a lot during initial deployment, particularly if you're building your own lab. We talked about our troubleshooting tools and our real-time monitoring, all right? The other ones that are scattered about we have are like our administration. So for like managing our users and user groups, viewing audit logs, and managing the local vManage server. So the documentation, we have two different places to get this documentation. The first one, as you'd expect, is the Cisco website. This is actually just kind of rebranded one of the Vitella servers, but it's SD-WAN docs. Dot Cisco .com, and there's a lot of good information. This is static documentation. And so let's take a look and explore a little bit of this. We go under using the vManage REST APIs. It gives us some nice basics. These are fundamental programming things primarily, talking about the representational state transfer and the fact that we support CRUD. Um, CRUD is the create, read, update, and delete. That's kind of a standard terminology. You'll notice here, we have the same functions. We have create, which is our post, read, all right, which is our get, update, which is our put, and delete, which is, well, delete. So sometimes when you hear people say CRUD, you're wondering, well, how does that map into REST API? Well, CRUD, you know, create, read, update, delete, maps to our, our get, put, post, and delete. So REST has been around for a while. It's used HTTPS in the background. It's much more efficient because we don't leave the connection open after we do a command. We do a command, we grab a cookie, and then we disconnect. We reconnect, and if it's within time, we don't have to authenticate again, we can use the cookie. So kind of a little nice overview here. These are some of the categories. 
and our different types of data. We'll be worrying a little bit about our types of data, all right? And notice this is gonna be one of the importance. This is the static documentation. The live documentation is gonna be when you have to connect to an actual vManage server, all right? That's where you can actually see the library and see the live documentation, which is often referred to as Swagger documentation. It's based on the Swagger library, which allows for some of our live interaction. And it gives us some basic examples. So this is some of the static documentation. There's some pretty good stuff in here, all right? And the vManage REST APIs. And so this is what we were looking at before. Now this is fine to look at. And you know, for me, you know, I'll come here every now and then, you know, it's like, oh, okay, how do I pull events? And you'll notice what it's gonna show you here. It gives you kind of some nice information and how to use it in an example, all right? But wouldn't it be great if we could try some of these commands? And that's the advantage. Instead of going to sdwan-docs.cisco.com, we find it advantageous for us instead to go to the, in this case, this is my vManage server, colon 8443, slash API docs, all right? And then it'll automatically populate the index.html. Now the documentation may not look as pretty here, but let's take a look and see if we can uh, notice some things. This is documentation based on Swagger. And so let's click on one of these. So I'll go under administration. And we see some different options. Notice on the left-hand side, this is the function. That's the rest function we're going to perform. All right. So remember, posts are going to go ahead and uh, we have our different posts, we have our puts, and we have our gets, right? So we have a lot of different things. And notice they tell us exactly, validate a user, edit a user, delete a user, update password, edit profile. And these are going to be similar for the other ones. If I go under and I take a look at, you know, administration, under my audit log, you know, I have some different options here. I see here one is go ahead and get, get the raw data. Right, so I have an option. Let's take a look at that one. And what's kind of neat here is I say, okay, well, it shows me some basics. Notice it's not as quite nice as the Cisco documentation, but it has a very powerful feature, and that's this try it out button. The try it out button will attempt to execute that command. So it's going to attempt to do a get to my server up here slash audit log sec aggregation. So it's gonna to try to hit that API endpoint. And so in this case, we should see, let's see what happens. Actually, I just spun up this server, so I don't think it has any uh, audit log information. Let's check, let's look at something else. We'll do something simple here, events. I'm always gonna have events. So let's see what my options are. If I take a look at my, I have a bunch of different types. I can look at my different events. And I can see, okay, hey, what are some of my different options? Under this one, this is my get the raw data. And I'm going to run this. And this should retrieve the events for me that have occurred. So when I run this, I'm going to get a reply. And we we'll need to scroll down a little bit to start seeing the actual events after the header. But this is where we can start seeing some different information. So the actual events. So all this really happens, notice what's happening here. It is simply opening to HTTPS labs.unified8443 slash data services slash event, because that is the URL. Notice here there's no required query, so we don't have to put any specific required query. And so this starts us off it's like, oh, wow, this makes it relatively easy for us to start looking and start saying, okay, hey, what's going on with our different devices? And so this is kind of our introduction into using the documentation. Now, if we go back and compare this to the static documentation on cisco.com, you'll notice we have significantly more detail, you know, some nice examples, supported fields. So what ends up happening is it's kind of nice to be able to use both of them, be able to use the static documentation to be able to get more detail and be able to find out more information and then use the live on vManage API docs to be able to see and actually try out those different commands. So this is our kind of introduction in the documentation. Thank you.